Breaking, new travel ban about to be imposed on Americans. Here's who it will affect immediately if the people cannot trust their government to do the job for which exists, to protect them and to promote their common welfare. All else is lost. Do you know who said that? Barack Hussein Obama. By many people's reckoning, under his administration, and by those standards, all was lost. An entire generation of people got so sick of not being able to trust their government, that they rose up and elected a political outsider to come do the job the right way. Enter President Donald J. Trump and his brash, red-blooded American, get ER done kind of attitude. A lot of people think that the president isn't kind and gentle enough to be dealing with other countries, but if recent events have taught us anything, it's that other world leaders respect his brand of justice. Many Americans seem to want to act like crybabies when he does things like attempting to keep terrorists out of the country, but his job is to keep this country safe, by whatever means necessary, and darned if he isn't crushing it. While I'm quoting people that I don't like, Bill Maher said, it's the government's job to protect a lot of things but your feelings ain't one of them. The offensive travel ban that has so many people's feelings was for the purpose of preventing attacks like what we saw in Manchester earlier this week. And considering what this country might be facing in the near future, the politicians are considering putting another travel ban in place, but this one would restrict Americans from traveling to another country, instead of keeping certain people from coming here. If even Barack Obama and Bill Maher can see that these types of actions fall under the imperative jurisdiction of the federal government, you know it's a basic tenet of what the government is supposed to be doing. By Reuters, Republican and Democratic U.S. Congressman introduced a bill on Thursday that would ban Americans from traveling to North Korea as tourists and require them to obtain special permission for other types of visits. Democrat Adam Schiff and Republican Joe Wilson said their proposed North Korea Travel Control Act followed the detention of at least 17 Americans in North Korea in the past decade. North Korea has a record of using detained Americans to extract high-profile visits from the United States, with which it has no formal diplomatic relations. With increased tensions in North Korea, the danger that Americans will be detained for political reasons is greater than ever, the congressman said in a statement. Given North Korea's demonstrated willingness to use American visitors as bargaining chips to extract high-level meetings or concessions, it is appropriate for the United States to take steps to control travel to a nation that poses a real and present danger to American interests, they said. Four Americans are being held in North Korea as diplomatic tensions with Washington have heightened. Two of them, detained in the past month, are affiliated with a private university in the North Korean capital. A congressional source said the bill would ban tourist travel by Americans outright, while any other visits would require a special license from the Treasury Department, which is enforcing a wide range of sanctions on North Korea over its nuclear and missile programs. North Korea this month asserted its sovereign right to ruthlessly punish U.S. citizens it has detained for crimes against the government. It said calling such arrests bargaining ploys was pure ignorance. North Korea said on May 7 it had detained Kim Haek Song who worked for the Pyongyang University of Science and Technology, on suspicion of hostile acts. Another American, Kim Sang-dok, who was associated with the same school, was detained in late April on the same charge. The other two Americans are Otto Warmbier, a 22-year-old student detained in January 2016 and sentenced to 15 years hard labor for attempting to steal a propaganda banner, and Kim Dong-chul, a 62-year-old Korean-American missionary. Kim was sentenced to 10 years hard labor for subversion last year. It's not a stretch at all to say that the United States might be at war with North Korea sometime in the near future, and if that's the case, Americans that were in the country at the time would probably have a very hard time of it. I understand that it's a liberal's birthright to scream and cry for all the most dangerous rights that people want to have, however, as has been covered, it's the government's job to keep us safe. If we were to be involved in a deadly conflict with North Korea, there's no doubt they would be grabbing up any American that they could in order to use them as leverage. And no matter how well-meaning, or just stupid, the American was, or what their reasons for being there, it would be to the United States' detriment to have some of our own there for them to use as bartering chips. Source, Reuters, share this if you think it's the government's first job to keep us safe. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.